see anything that was good. I could draw, then we do paper, draw a paint, I can paint, I can paint, you look like a nice picture, draw your nice picture. So then you do the right thing down, you can't do it. Basically because I just can't remember how things are stuck. No matter how many times they teach me. So basically, that's how I'll do it. No notion to know a child go up to get a word away. So not when you have the problems you had a kid at school, the problems come in your fault. Every time you get rejected from a cycle of our job, and I kept on getting rejected, and I have no idea what. All that jobs, and they never last. I did everything I was told me to do. Go back, get to work. If I did, never turn up your life. Did my job. They even stop doing it. I wasn't, I wasn't happy to be told. But it just never worked. This is the only thing I had going for me. That school. That family ages, and one thing when your child, oh wait, sorry, your childhood, I think having your childhood sometimes helps you build a, a foundation for what can happen to you through life. You tell the stupid, you see, you are and to believe and every time so every time they knock you back your job is a reminder and they all saying a little creature that is born in those times that they teach us by the time you hit high school it great teachers that soon fight you you went to leave school, and every time you get not back, it's up tearing you to pieces. Especially when you see you right up your age, be able to go through school in life, get jobs, move out, act like adults, pay the only way through life. It eats it. It eats it. It chews it. And it starts starting to tear me into you and victim until you start wishing you were never born. There are all times I wish I was never born, there's times I would wish I just wanted to find a place and jump in. Sometimes I'm sure we better stay and never wake up. Still have those times, okay? And yeah, being an this year, I uh, tried to take me out lot and ended up a couple of weeks of mental work. Um, I still have these problems. It's hard to explain to people. How you feel in so many times when you know why you feel weak. He'll tell you to take up, cheer up. I have no idea why it continues continue on this, but I guess. Anyway, that is my inspiration for this painting. I used to be able to do these paintings, but the time I was living, my mother and his was giving her a bit of care. And I thought everyone was giving positive care for some of my paintings. But as expression, the thing about art is 
the African Bride, African Bride Kids, um, painting, paint, art paint for $7. Anyway, this is going to get the paint. So, yeah. Open the door. And that's, and that's what we're playing with. Much, 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 all the paint. Good customer. Seven dollars for a hundred mil. Not good paint, but it's good enough for um, under paint if you want to do an under paint. You could also use the clips for under painting. You remember this report? It's not a bad movement, but um, still working the paint. This is the paint I got from a. Uh, does it say on the top? Uh, no, it doesn't say. There's a paint shop. Um, there's a two dollars, I think, it's like a two dollar shop in um, Cornwall, next to the bus stop. There's a lot of art stuff, two art places for the paper. Artists like me don't have that much money, and any cheap artwork, art paint, art material is handy. Just to keep you going. Especially for me who comes to do this to order block up the crack in my head. So for swearing, I'm not sure I'm cutting the dirty word or whatever. It does it's a defense. Anyway. Um I heard what at the same time I'm still working on like I said, I'm still working on these things. Hands are my sometimes as a problem, as a four after her. Hands are one of those things of artists have problems knowing how to paint. Do you paint too big, too small, a body hand that doesn't really match the body? And if they hands are not big, which means no other way. Now the thing that they got man hands, anyway. But it doesn't matter what size, as long as it's good. Anyway. Um, and also good if you're working indoors, make sure you've got enough ventilation. Because some of the work, some some of the paint, some of the medium can have Powerful effect. Some of these paints are, some of the paints are actually toxic. Some, sometimes it's good to wear some protective gear. As you see, I am wearing an apron. I don't normally wear an apron, but I actually did spend more to See, at the moment, I'm having problems with my eyes due to the diabetes. And I had no one to buy it, I thought it was something else. But, but that's the good thing about being out there for people. Bad things happen. You may slip, fall, but that's just something you learn from. Anyway. As I say, I'm still on the painting stage for this painting. And still trying to work out this time. Now, I don't think my notebook is going to be naked. So, I'm not to say that. 
I don't know how this grid is setting for this. And I don't know how to properly edit. Anyway. Uh, so, where do I go from here? Like I said, I'm still playing, I'm still working on what I'm doing. The reason why I left here a bad is because I did the, like I said, the stock box. As you see, my lips are basically wrapped. Which, uh, no one would say, you could. Anyway. Uh, We're talking about the skull. The skull also could have some, um, way through this skull right here. Work out facial structure. The eyes can go, ears can go. So, Robert Stevens. <coughs> We're going to tell you <coughs> sorry about that. I'm going to tell them and they're going to bother, but not with flesh. And I don't have it made by um, I have more. The other vote being that in the top court. You want to put the hands over your hands? Anyway, um, this is stage one. Thanks for uh, watching. And Stay tuned for stage two. Okay.